myself. I've literally just coughed myself into tears. I'm not upset. I <laughs> just <laughs> It's like choking yourself out or something. <laughs> okay, apparently I wasn't done. So um, this is my first attempt to go back to work. This is my Saturday to work. I've also got students in town from out of town. So I really need to get to the field and help them guys learn to develop their flying skills. I actually do feel better. You have no idea just how sick I was. I may seem real sick now. I only know what day it is because my wife told me this morning. But the last several days have just been a feverish nightmare of sweating and dreams and coughing. I don't know if I had the flu or strep throat or some sort of combination of both. Not that that's the only two things you can have. I can't hear out of my left ear. It's falling apart, man. I didn't think I was that old, but apparently I'm old enough. I wished I could hear. It's weird talking. It feels like I'm talking with my helmet on. That's, that's how I feel right now. So yeah, I'm about to show up at this drugstore and try not to get anybody else sick. Hopefully, I've got new gliders in the mail. Maybe they're coming today. I just wanted to make a little vlog here that you guys know where I've been. Although by the time you see this, it'll be well after. Like if this video gets posted, I'm well, okay? So no need for the sympathy cards about get well soon because again, if you're watching this, it's because I've healed enough that I've done an edit and it's about a month down the road, something like that. So thanks anyway, much love guys. Good morning, YouTubers. Is it still morning? I hope not, because I just drank a beer. Yeah, it's morning. <laughs> so I got more cameras than I got damn sense. We got Mr. Woody Hayes showed up from out of somewhere. With my smoke. With smoke bombs. <laughs> I was just telling these boys a story about how when you double the speed of the wind, you quadruple the force that it delivers on a glider. And flying behind tree rotor, David Carroll, could be very dangerous in strong winds. And so we're gonna try to find a spot that has some, some gnarly ass tree rotor, and we're gonna throw these smoke bombs and video them and see what that looks like. So y'all come along for this adventure because ain't nobody flying or, or kiting today. Squirrel. All right, so Woody's about to play spoke bomb out here in the horse pasture. This is kind of a, a dense row of trees. They're not real tall, but it's about the best thing we got to demonstrate what we want to demonstrate. And we'll probably see the horses go crazy. That'll be cool as well. We've got the wind blowing hard out of the south, so we should be able to demonstrate the rotor over these trees in a strong gust. There's a buzzard out there juking and jiving in the distance. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Whenever you hear a big one coming, man, just pop it. Yeah, it may not have been deep enough. Wind's too strong. I don't know, throw it further back in there, Woody. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We got some, uh, got some interesting smoke going. Wow, that makes some nice color. So let's just see, let's see what we can learn from this. Anything. Yeah, it blows away. There's too much wind coming in underneath the trees. Total fail on that. Because it's the middle of winter time, there's not a leaf on a tree out there that ain't a pine. All the all the broad leaves, which are usually, you know, cause the majority of the rotor, the wind is coming through. It's, you know, tree rotor is not super dangerous anyway, unless it's strong. You know, when it's strong, it is. Man, that's some good thick smoke though. So due to the fact that we didn't have uh, very good trees to demonstrate tree rotor, we decided to use a more substantial structure, such as my house. And we actually got some pretty good footage from this. It's, uh, we're just studying rotor. We stood out there with the wind socks and looked at it for a bit. So uh, check it out. The thermals are so shredded today, it's hard to get any kind of good read on them anyway. Look at the wind sock. Ball bent out of shape. That's the rotor right there that we're seeing. Look at that. Uh-huh. Captured on film, my friends. But that twisty curly cue it does real quick. That's what your wing does real quick when that hits your wing. Watch it. Look, 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 look. Spinning around, pointing different directions. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
ugliness. You know what, Woody? I bet if we busted that smoke bomb right on that front porch, just that you can see everything coming out from the other side of that house. Pop off it right here. I bet, I bet it would show everything coming off of there. Here comes a good one. Let's just see what it does. Oh, pink. So we're looking at the, look at the rotor rolling off of the house there, especially up top. That's what we're seeing. See how it kicks up higher than the house actually is. See, even in this strong wind, it's pulling it all the way to the top of the roof. That's your lee side. If you were flying behind a mountain, you'd fly where that pink smoke is hanging. You wouldn't want to go above that or out away from it too far. You'd want to stay kind of right in there where that smoke's hanging or riding up. See how it's riding up the roof? That's, that's your lee side lift. When you talk about flying in the lee, that's what they're talking about. That smoke is riding up the side of that mountain. Yep. You just don't want to go over the top of it. That's where you get smack-a-rooski. You can hear the wind howling outside. So I think we should go outside and do some study in rotor. Show us the rotor. Show us the rotor. There it is. So whether you're talking specifically about rotor, wind shear, thermal edges, turbulence, the air always has this circular spinning quality to it. And you can see it demonstrated right here with the windsock. And I'm fixing to blast a couple more smoke grenades and we're gonna do some more visual representation of turbulence. All right, so I've got a couple windsocks put in the rotor zone. We've got some pretty strong wind. It's probably gusting to 30 miles an hour. I felt a couple of at least high 20s. I put some flags up right in the rotor of this, this hard edged building that's gonna simulate our mountain. And we're gonna pop some smoke and see what it looks like. So I sped this footage up two times the speed. It is a scaled model of what goes on with a rotor situation. The downdrafts are what really hurts you here. You see how it rolls over the top and then comes down and the smoke is basically smashing down on the ground? Well, if you were a little paraglider dude riding up into that, it would probably slap your wing and cause a deflation or push you down into the terrain if you were flying too low. Also, look at where the smoke grenade is actually sitting. The direction of the wind is opposite of what it's really blowing. So if you were sitting there on the ground and felt the wind and thought, oh, it's coming out of the north. I'll just take off and fly. Well, you wouldn't get very far or very high before you ran into some big trouble. So just the very, very important that you check your wind's direction, like, like what they're forecasting, what it's showing, especially if you're in a mountainous environment. That's what we really want to take away from this. I hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it. Rotorville, baby. Rotorville. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for thumbing it up or thumbing it down if you're into that. It looks like the Q word that rhymes with Orangentine has got me at the house making videos. So look for an uptick in the amount of videos that I'm uploading for your enjoyment. If you want to click the little, little subscribe bell and stuff like that, then you'll know when I do and you can watch them immediately. Because I know it's going to get pretty boring out there. Not much to do when everything's closed down. It's the end of the world, so we're all going to sit at home and watch YouTube. Hope you enjoy it. Much love, everybody. Kyle out. Hey, guys. Feeling much better. Got a little something in the mail. It's like David Wolf, Paramotor Crazy. Sent me a uh, a heartwarming card. Many thanks for the videos. And some uh, Paramotor Crazy stickers. I've got just the perfect spot to put these stickers too. We're gonna we're gonna stick this dude right here under the Kylo Paramotor School sticker. Thanks, David. Appreciate you, bud. That leaves me with one for the laptop and one for the paracamper now. I'll check it out. So next door they make this thing. It's called a thang. A debt thang. That is a huge hamburger. Look at there, Melba. It won't even fit in the thing. That's a pretty big one. If it won't fit in my mouth.
Jesus. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs>